Hi fashion sewers, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to put in a centred zip. My name is Colleen Geely and this is Fashion Sewing Blog. Okay, I'm going to do, um, as I said, a centred zip insertion into a plain seam. Now this is a seam that I've done. Now I've actually base stitched the area in which the zip will be sitting in here. You can either do this by your sewing machine or you can do it by hand and as you can see I've done it by hand. Now if you're going to do it by machine make sure you do it on the largest stitch on your sewing machine to that point there and then you reverse or back stitch secure that end there and then you can continue with your usual stitch length to sew the rest of the seam for your garment straight down. And then the next step you need to do once that's done is to press your seam open. So it will be a case of pressing along there. And that's what you call a plain seam. Right, the right side of the garment is on my surface, so the wrong side of the garment is facing me. And it's also the same for your zip or zipper. Now what happens here, you have to make sure the top of the tape is at the top edge of your garment. And then you're going to line the teeth along this centre front or centre back seam or wherever you're going to put it along this line here. So you get your zip and just roll it down to the end and then secure it with pins like so and then it will be ready to be base stitched or tack whatever you call it and that's that okay so I've gone from pinning my zip into position here and then once you've pinned it into position you should have this stage and you should have your basting stitch all the way around now can I just mention that if you have a metal section here, some zips do have a plastic one, but in, if you do have a metal one, be careful. You do not want to sew over that at all. Okay, and that's what it looks like to the front. And I'm now going to take that to the sewing machine and show you how to sew that. Okay, you have to sew the zip in two parts. So I've actually sewn the first one for you. And I've started at this point here and I've worked out and then up towards the edge. Right, now I have to tell you that because with this zip, it's a metal bar across there at the end of the zip, you do not want to sew on that because it will break your needle and we don't want any injuries. So you're going to be sewing across the teeth here. Okay? Right. Now you start with your work towards the back of your machine, like so, or your work will be towards the arm. And then you're going to start right in the middle of the seam. Find that, put your needle down. Right. And because the foot is actually resting on the metal, it's a little bit unstable. So do use a hand wheel and actually do the stitches yourself by hand. Just to help it along. Just three or four stitches. Just go one more. There. Okay, and then lift your feet and then you pivot your work to you. So the rest of your work is back of the machine and the, um, the top of the zip is towards you. Put your foot down and then you start stitching. Let's see if I can get a straight line here for you. Okay, you come to the top. And then you reverse or back stitch, a couple of stitches, to secure the threads. And pull your work away and then trim. So that is what it will look like. Now this tail here, you need to pull that through to that side and then you'll actually knot it off. You give it a good knot there. Right, so what I'm going to do now is just release, just remove my basting stitch that I've done in the seam. Get that bit of a tug. And obviously you will remain you remove all those basting stitch on each side. And remember before you put any zip in, make sure that it works properly. So there we go. And that is what you call a centered zip. Okay, that's what you call a centered zip, and here it is. 
That's what it looks like at the front, and that's what it looks like at the back. And okay, right, that's it out of the way. Um, thank you for watching my video. Do join me as I make my other um, videos. But can I just say before I go, please subscribe to my YouTube channel because there's loads of videos on there that I hope you will find useful. Until next time, my name is Colleen Julie and happy fashion sewing.